What's up Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you a new edition of Gundam Customs and today I am going to build this guy. The 144 scale high grade MSN 06S-2 Sananju Stein narrative version from the Mobile Suit Gundam narrated animated series. This has been a mobile suit that everybody was waiting for as a high grade. But surprisingly, this is not the original Stein. The original Stein was MSN 06S San Andrew Stein, which, in, if you, which originally came out in the Mobile Suit Gundam UC uh, video game for the PlayStation 3, and it was part of the UC MSV line. And uh, it, was a, it, it is, of course, a successor unit for Char Aznaval's MSN 04 Sazabi. And the story goes that there were two of these, and one was captured, and and the other one was used. And the other Stein, San Angel, was actually used in, as uh, the, the San Angel that we all know from um, Unicorn. Now, this is supposed to be from the new Gundam series that's coming out, and not much information has come down the uh, Manda, you know, Sunrise, or any type of. Uh, news outlets other than the fact that it's going to be in the series and according to the history that has been documented here it was last seen fighting against um, Unicorn Gundam 03 Fenix which also is going to be in the series as well so this is technically the protagonist mobile suit or no not the protagonist the um, the arch rival you could say because if it has the sleeves um, emblem on it. Clearly, we know it's in the opposite side. Narrative is basically the, the you know, the the go-to guy, or the go-to mobile suit from the series. Well, this is the bad guy, technically speaking. I don't know. We don't know. Is it this? Is it the Phoenix? It's something we have never seen before. Doesn't matter. All that matters is they, that Bandai has made S. N. Andrew Stein, and I am I'm okay with the sleeves type thing. Um, I wonder if the, if it can be built without the sleeves. I don't know. Um, I've been hearing some great things about this kit. Uh, great uh, bill uh, story about how it's how it's made, how it's constructed. But I don't know nothing yet. There is some information here which we'll read. Um, this kit cost about twenty six hundred yen. I got this from Gun uh, Hyperlink Japan. Uh, let's see here. This Ninja Stein was developed to test the durability and follow-up uh, capabilities of the cycle frame. In the UC-94, two units of the mobile suit referred to using the development code Stein-1 were being transported to Earth's Klop, Klop class Yukina uh, or Yuka, when it was seized by sleeves, remnants of Neo-Zeon. One unit was remolded as, of course, this is the uh, Sunanju, while the other uh, let's see, second, uh, okay, well, the was lost during the events of the Lepasis incident, the UC Golden Phoenix and the Unicorn, or the Unicorn O3 Phoenix, which had flown into Earth's sphere, the exact origins of the MS is a mystery, but the Sinaiju Stein was embellished with engravings that became the root of the name of Sleeves. And it used the fury of its pilots as a source of energy to face the Phoenix and narrative Gundam. The fury of the pilot. Hmm. Interesting. There. Doesn't matter. I love it. It is cool looking kit. Um, hopefully, um, this has been a far. It, it's a lot better than the Master Grade version, which of course I have no problems with the Master Grade version, other than the fact that when I pull it, when I uh, display it, the stupid um, thing here keeps popping out. I can never seem to get that in there properly. But it doesn't matter. I see some amazing gimmicks here. Obviously, the most the most well known gimmick here is you have not only the the uh, main cannon, but you also have the bazooka, the bazooka and grenade launcher attachment. So you could use either or. And I think there's another bazooka here, or no, portions of the bazooka can be ha can be uh, shoulder mounted. Uh, beam sabers, grenade launcher, the sh the infinite shield. Yeah, this, this looks beautiful. I love it. Can't wait to build it and paint it. 
So let's look at the contents here and we'll see what we got. Alright, so right off the bat, disappointment. Speakers. Um, but it does show it has two eyes, so unlike the uh, infamous mono eye. And uh, we have the, the infamous crest here. Um, uh, we'll talk about that in a few moments. So we see here parts of the um, shield, the waste unit, this head, the portion of the beam cannon right here. And this plate, it's not black, it's brown. Didn't think about that. A brownish color. Good detail though. On the beam rifle and the inside of the shield there. And we have the uh, the same weapon, the handheld weaponry that the, was, that the, Sinan, the original Sinan Justine used. Not the original Sinan Justine, the Sinan. Sorry. Uh, we have more gray parts here. And by the way, this is a beautiful gray. Nice, solid gray. Uh, I'm actually trying to see if there's any type of warping of the plastic, but no, there isn't. And I mean, war and I mean warping as the plastic warp. You have that little weird um, uh, swirly thing that that is part of the byproduct of the molding phase. Fuel tanks, shoulder armor, the side armor for the thruster armor on the side for the legs. Commission that's legs right there. Another fuel tank. Oh, that's right. The fuel tanks are huge, are long, so they're both the same. Okay, so we have a darker shade of like a grayish green color for some trim parts. And then we have the brown parts here. That has to be for the backpack. I see some thruster-like thingamabobs. Uh, poly caps, beam saber, and okay, so here is the black parts, which of course contain um, the emblems. So, with the stickers, you can put the stickers on if you want, or you do the old reverse swash technique. Which, if I remember correctly, it will have to be painted enamel white and then lacquer black. So that question is, do I have enamel white? That's, looks like I'm going to have to go to my hobby store to find out. See if they have some. Um, okay, good blue. I like this, but I have a better color for blue for this. That's nice. And then we have more darker parts here. See some heart, uh, oh, some great parts of the weaponry sets. And all that stuff. And then we have the manual. Now, I am not going to spoil um, the, the, uh, what, what happened in the animated um, movie of, of narrative, or the episode of narrative, because, you know, for those of you who don't know, I, we, went to, we went to watch this at Anime, uh, in, uh, Anime NYC, they were, brought, they were showing that at the show, so I'm not going to spoil that, I'll let some other people spoil it. Alright, so beautiful kit of the narrative of the Stunning Just Time. And let's go to page one. Uh, I see some parts in the in this area that's not required. Wonder why? Probably, but my probably because of the it came from the original master grade, uh, original high grade Stein. There's a missing part there, and a few parts here. Okay, and then we have the assembly of the chest, followed by the head, and then the shoulder armor, followed by the the arms, both left and right arms. I'm not mistaken, I think one hand, one, arm, one side of the arm has the beam saver hilt, and the other one doesn't. I'm, I may be looking at it wrong. And then we have the assembly of the legs, and the armored parts. 
Okay, and then the waste unit. Very nice. Very nice. And then of course putting the kit together. Let's pull it. And then the assembly of the backpack. And then the boosters. Uh, not the boosters, the um, the fuel tanks. Thrusters. Very nice. Very good. That's right, there were f six thrusters in total. The weaponry set, we have the assembly of the beam rifle, which was the San Andreas beam rifle, but with the added, uh, ar you know, armored parts, which is more like, a, yeah, like that. Bazooka, connection, and obviously this is the San Andreas bazooka. Which, of course, when you have the Master Raid version, it's kind of hard to stick it under that beam rifle. I hopefully, with this one, since there's not a bit of a weight issue, it will stick on properly. So, that's kind of cool. Um, I guess, with this, you can have both um, the beam rifle with the grenade launcher in one hand, and then the bazooka on the other. Then we have the assembly of the shield. And then, I think that's it. Yeah. And then finally, we have the more detailed information, and eh, the same information, but at least more detailed information here and here. And here's the paint guide. And the paint guide, um, so light gray parts, if you want to do a mixture of 80% white, 10% gray, and 10% blue gray. Uh, obviously the engraving is pure white, but the back part is black. The dark blue is 90% uh, 90% 90, 90 dark blue, no bright blue, 10% black, and then 40% white, 30% gray, 30% navy blue, and a dash of green for the. Well, there's still a couple of charcoal parts here, so you have a lighter charcoal parts and you have a darker charcoal parts, which is referring to the weaponry, while the lighter one is for the body. You have the red eyes. There's no red parts other than the eyes, if you want to paint the eyes, and of course the inside of the thrusters. And then we have the body, the overall body, which is all brown. Yeah, this is actually very nice. Oh, I can't wait to build this and paint this. But let us, let us talk about painting. So like I mentioned before, um, I do not have enamel white. And I'm not going to hand brush the uh, emblems on this. I want this done proper. So I am going to do the reverse wash. So I don't have enamel white. I do have regular uh, lacquer black, which is required for this. So I need to head over to my uh, hobby store um, that I know has enamel paint, and that is Ridgefield Hobbies. So I'll, I'll send the message over to the guy over there and ask him if he has uh, any enamel white. If not, I'm going to have to like order something, but right now, that's fine. Uh, and, the white, and the white is the only thing that's striking on this kit. As for the other colors, let's look at, the, at this again. So, we have the white, which we need, and we have the black, which we have. Uh, then we have one, two, and three different shades of gray. Maybe even four. I'm not counting the brown parts. I'm not doing this in brown. No, 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 no. As a matter of fact, I think uh, since the, the inner body, the inner frame parts is more metallic, I think it's more metallic in my, in my guess. I'm going to use gunmetal. I have plenty of this, and this, comes out, this goes down nice, so I'm going to use that. Uh, as for this blue, Titan's Blue 2. This one's a little stronger, but I, I'm, I'm going with this. And I've always fond of this color. Now there are two types of grays here that you can see on the kit. We have the regular lighter tone and we have the darker tones here on certain trim parts. For the trim parts, and I don't know if you guys can see this, uh, we have, well the darker trim parts, I have dark gray, number 32. I think that will be perfect for this. I was going to use uh, German gray, but I think um, that may be a little too dark. I want it to blend in, so we'll leave that alone. Um, 
So that will be for that. For the for the uh, regular color gray, I have this one, number 306. This is regular gray for an F SF United States Air Force F-16 colors. So we have that for this, that for th uh, this. Then we have the weaponry, which is a gray part as well. And I think I could use this one. This is a grayish blue tone, which is a little darker. But I think it will be appropriate for the gun and other features for the weapons. So there's the red parts for the it says the body, but did in all due fairness, I think it's only for the eyes. So I don't remember seeing Oh that's right. It's the red parts for the for the trim areas. Let me see here. Uh, no. Because you have the red inside the thrusters. And that's it. And then, of course, in in the side thrusters of the of the leg, I do have a red paint here. I haven't pulled it to the. Let me see. Uh, no, that's metallic. Oh, perfect. I'll use russet. Excellent. There we go. This should be an easy kit to build and an easy kit to paint. I don't see any. Uh, issues whatsoever. I'm just hoping to see if there's any um, uh, custom decals for this, so I'll be looking for that as well. And uh, by the way, moving forward, every kit that I'll be making, I'll it will be done properly done, so I can have it ready for next year's Mosquito Con show if I decide to bring it to the show. But I want to put a lot of effort on this and make it look really nice. Okay, so this is the paint I have. This is the kit I'm going to build. Let's begin building high-grade, 144-scale, St. Andrew Stein narrative version.